Well, the game awards are out, so I'll be going through them and voting on, uh, like, who I would like, well, who I think is, uh, words. Um, I already did the first little bit, but I thought I kind of have some interesting, uh, takes on some of the games. So, um, yeah. Um, so for game of the year, I, I voted Astrobot. Um, I've seen a lot of, uh, not a lot, but I just love the direction Astrobot takes. And although I don't have a PS5, it looks amazing. Uh, Bellatro is also really cool. Um, yeah, roguelike poker game, I think. Uh, Black Myth Wukong, I don't know a ton about, but I saw a bit of gameplay. It looked very good. Um, I'll come back to you. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth insane remake of Final Fantasy 7. I own Final Fantasy 7. I, I don't have a lot of playtime in it, but I think it's pretty good. And then, Metaphor, uh, Refantasio. I, I don't know what that is. I, I know nothing. But, Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree. This one, kind of, I, I, I really don't like how it's in the Game Awards, because yes, it is part of a video game, but Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree itself is not a video game. It's just an expansion to one uh, Elden Ring. And although the playtime may be uh, greater than uh, other video games, Elden, like just Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree itself is not an actual game. It's just an addition to a game. You, you, uh, just a DLC. You wouldn't put Mario Kart, uh, uh, DLC, uh, Booster Course Pass in the Game Awards because that's just more content to a game that's already been out. And Elden Ring already won two years ago, and it, it's already gotten its reward, award. Best Game Direction is pretty much the exact same as Game of the Year, uh, has exact game, uh, nominations. But if you like the game, it's probably going to have a good game direction, which is why I also uh, chose Astrobot. I'm kind of surprised that Bellatro is on here, because I didn't think that game came out this year. Best narrative? I don't know. Wait, I did not I did not do Silent Hill 2. I, I know for a fact I, I put Final Fantasy 7 in the Actually, I'll, I'll still vote for Final Fantasy 7. But I don't like how this one's on here either, because uh, as far as I know, it's just like an insane remaster of a game. So its narrative isn't good because of the game that it is. It's because Final Fantasy VII had a good narrative back then. And as far as I know, they just reuse it. Probably added a ton of new content, but yeah. Best art direction. Very close between Astrobot and uh, Neva. I went Neva because it looks really cool. And yeah. Uh, best score in music. I love Final Fantasy VII music. Well, I don't know love, but it, it's. I think it's really good. Um, so I voted for that. Um, best audio design. I, I like whether or not you like the game. I think Call of Duty Black Ops 6 just has really good sound design. I've never played it. Or seen too much about it but like it's a really realistic game I think um, as you can see my nominations my reasons for nominations aren't always the best uh, but I, I try and stick to the categories rather than just me liking the game um, yeah best performance I have no clue who any of them are but I just want to show Star Wars Outlaw outlaws a little bit of like respect because i know nobody is going to be voting for anything related to it uh innovation and accessibility prince of persia looks really cool um it looks amazing so i went with that and i don't think call of duty d definitely did not uh innovate just like they always do games for impact thought-provoking game uh Maybe life is strange, strange, but I don't know much of the other ones. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, best ongoing. This is actually really interesting for me. Uh, Destiny 2, I know nothing about. I'm pretty sure Diablo 4 came out this year, and I know Helldivers 2 came out this year. I don't doubt that these are good games. These games are probably excellent, but I don't like how they're in this category because both of them came out this year. They're, uh, because if they came out this year, are they really ongoing or they're most likely just starting off? And uh, yes, I am aware that Helldivers 2 has been out for about a year now. Um, almost a year. Uh, it came out in like February this year. Uh, it looks, it looks pretty cool. I've played a uh, very little bit of the first one and that was pretty fun. Uh, Final Fantasy 14, I think. Uh, I, I don't know hardly anything about it, but I have to go Fortnite. I, I know I uh, share a lot of hate for Fortnite, but it's it's actually pretty cool. And they just brought Chapter 2 back. I haven't played it. I don't have any way to play it, um, but Chapter 2 is when I started, so that's really cool. Best Community Support? I feel like this just has to be objectively Fortnite, because Without the community, it would it would just die immediately. I don't see any... Maybe it's just because of the content I watch, but I don't see any support for any game besides Fortnite. I don't really see a lot of support for Fortnite either way, but I, 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 I love Buff. Um, Final Fantasy 7... No, not 7. 14 probably has some support. They all probably have some support, but I really don't like Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go Fortnite again. Uh, best independent game. Animal Well, super cool. Looks really cool. Bellatro, super cool. Neva, super cool. You, uh, I've never seen UFO 50, but that looks really cool. And then Lorelli and the Laser Eyes also looks pretty cool. Uh, I think I'll go Animal Well. I've seen a little bit about it. I haven't played it. It's on my, uh, to-do playlist. Uh, best debut, uh, debut indie game. Oh. The, if, if it's like that, then I think I'm gonna change my vote to Bellatro. Uh, for this. Best independent game. And then... Best debut and uh is definitely Animal Well. Because Bellatro uh kinda relied on added content a little bit. It had a good amount of DLCs. And then I don't really know any of the other ones. So yeah. Best mobile game. I feel like Bellatro is isn't really a mo mobile game. Uh I guess fits the category on a mobile device but it wasn't built for mobile and i've been playing a lot of pokemon trading card game pocket so i'm gonna go that uh i picked it up like maybe a week or two ago uh but i've had a lot of fun with it best vr or ar uh i know almost nothing but i know the batman arkham games are really liked I i'm pretty sure uh, but this one, I think, got a lot of hate purely because it was only on VR. Uh, yeah. Uh, best action game. I know Black Myth Wukong is really good. Uh, Call of Duty is, like, the same thing every year. It, I swear, it's on the Game Awards every year. Same categories and stuff. Uh, I don't know these two, but I'll go Hell Diggers 2 because the first one was pretty good. Best action adventure game. Ooh, wait, this is actually probably the most difficult of them all. Uh, Astrobot is really cool. Prince of Persia, really cool. Star Wars Outlaws, not very cool. I don't know anything about Silent Hill. And then Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom is also really cool. I've, I've voted for these two already, and I think Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom just really uh, worked. It, it was like really creative and as a game it's just really good best rpg i've shared my thoughts on elden ring and final fantasy 7 is really good maybe i should play a bit more
I only have 22 minutes. Ooh, okay. Best fighting move. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. That, that, this, this one's probably gonna win. Uh, I don't know if multiverses should actually be on here. Because multiverses got like a, pretty much a full release beta two years ago. And then they and then they took down the servers and then re released it pretty much. I know that it has like a deeper story and something like that. But um Yeah. Like, I would definitely vote for multiverses, but I don't think it should be on here. Just because it was pretty much it pretty much had a full release like two years ago. Marvel vs. Capcom. Arcade classics. I've played a couple of I've also played uh, some of uh, the earlier Tekken games, I think. I don't know. Uh, this one's difficult. I'll go Tekken. Because uh, I like Kazuya. I don't know if Kazuya's in it. Best family game? Uh, definitely not Princess Beach Showtime. Uh, that, just because it's made for four year olds doesn't really make it a family. I feel like the only one that truly fits the category here is Super Mario Party Jamboree. Because just because, like, a game is family friendly, that doesn't really mean that it's a family game. Because, like, when I think of family game, uh, like, I, I'm thinking more sort of like a party game. And Mario Party Jamboree doesn't. It's also, like, good. Like, Mario Party is just good in general. Best sim or strategy? I know none of these games. I will skip it. Uh, I've never even heard of them. Best sports or racing? NBA 2K25. I know that's pretty bad. Uh, F124. Seems pretty cool. I actually... I don't own this game. I own something like it. Because I got it for free on Epic Games Store. But I, I have played the... Uh, uh, FIFA 24 or 23, I, I actually really like it. I wouldn't buy it more than once, like more than one of the games, but I got it for like uh free, like four day trial, like I think last year, uh, because of Nintendo Online. Best multiplayer? Tekken is only, I'm pretty sure Tekken is only two players. I <laughs> Call of Duty uh, is Call of Duty. Uh, Hell Divers 2 is probably pretty cool, but I like Super Mario Party is just like really good. Best adaptation. These all suck. The like maybe not all, but people hated Knuckles. Actually, th uh, this isn't Borderlands like I thought. Uh, Tomb Raider is pretty cool. Uh, I haven't seen it. But, uh, I like the Sonic series, movies, and TV shows. Most anticipated game. Oh, okay. I see. G I know GTA 6 for a fact is gonna win. There's no doubt about it. Metroid Prime 4 has been, like, teased for years and then it finally got announced. I'm wondering if the only reason why they don't have Hollow Knight Silk Song on here is because it hasn't, like, it doesn't have a release date. Uh, uh, and then Monster Hunter Wilds. Um, I, I can't wait for the Monster Hunter Wild music, but I, I think the Metroid games are really cool. Wait, recognizing an announced game that has demonstrated uh, illustrated potential to push the game. Oh. It, it, if I were to fit the category, it's without a doubt GTA 6. But uh, I'm keeping Metroid Prime 4. Content Creator of the Year. Oh my gosh. Why is Typical Gamer on here? Why is Queso on here? I swear, half of what Queso does isn't even, like, gaming. I don't know anyone else besides Queso and Typical Gamer. And... Typical gamer's pretty cool, I guess. Definitely not who I would kind of like willingly pick, but I guess it's kind of cool. Best esports game. If you're 
trying to go most popular, it's League of Legends, I think. Um, I swear almost all of these are like shooters. Uh, but I haven't played Valorant, but I, I think it, it might be pretty cool. Um, kind of a no- uh, I kind of wish that they had the game that they played somewhere. Wait, Faker! I don't know where I recognize that name. But I, uh, I'll, I'll just pick him because I think I may recognize him from somewhere. I don't know. Oh, okay. Um, League of Legends, League of Legends. CSGO. League of Legends. I don't want to do someone who's doing League of Legends. And CSGO is just fun to say. <laughs> I know, that that's probably the worst logic I've ever heard but wait oh there's different rounds of voting i did i did not know that oh this is for what is this for opens december 2nd i i don't know what that is for but um yeah that's my ranking of the game awards i know i have some wrong opinions please don't harass me in the comments um but it was kind of fun doing it i hope you see my point of view with some of my hot takes uh such as actually no i'm, I'm going back for best narrative because although final fantasy 7 rebirth does have a really good narrative like it's not original because, like i'm as far as I know, you can correct me in the comments. Final Fantasy VII is n does not have an ah, does not have an original narrative. I feel fine voting for Final Fantasy VII in the music because they remixed the music, um, like completely remade it and stuff. Like I said, please don't harass me in the comments. I know I'm wrong, and I know you guys are gonna think I'm wrong. Oh. Um, but you can't do anything about it. Uh, have a great day and bye.